Welcome back to another episode. And today's a funny one. This is one I, I, I played with doing for a long time. And that is an episode on video gaming and skipping school. Now please listen, this is the opening header for this video. Do not skip school to play video games. Do not skip school to play video games. Okay. Nothing good comes from it. Stay in school, get an education. Honestly. But for me, <laughs> what's kind of funny is, I have some funny memories of when I I did skip school uh, to play some video games. So definitely after the video, leave some video responses of some of the funny things that happened to you skipping school, but playing video games, something like that, where you got a new game, you skip school. It happens, people do these things. People nowadays, you know, when they get older, they get jobs and they take a day off work to get Skyrim. I know people who have done that. I've never done that, but I know people who have done that. It's so funny. I'm telling you, I know there's a lot of younger people watching this. I'm not making it seem fun to skip school and play video games. I personally had some funny moments doing it, but do not do it. Don't do it. Really, honestly, don't skip school and play video games. I think, you know, when I look at the psychological reason is that I think I needed some escapism from from my early uh, years in high school. I really needed an escapism. And you know what's funny? Later on in high school, I freaking loved high school. I loved it so much. I really did. Love the people who got along with every group, that kind of thing. But in grade, you know, my early grade eights, grade nines, I was still trying to figure out, you know, how I fit into the school, all that. So I think I felt maybe a lot of pressure on a lot of things. And my escape was video games. It really was. <laughs> so much so. And I remember, it's funny, I remember this one day, skipping school, I was like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to go to class today. I want to go home and play some video games. And, uh, you know, back in... You know, the late 80s, you didn't have high-definition TV, so you didn't go home and play this stellar thing. So what I did was I went home and I used my key, went in my parents' house, obviously, and I went to my bedroom. I was so scared about playing on the, the bigger TV, which I think was like a 20, 21-inch TV, 20, you know, not a big TV by any means. My parents have had a huge TV. But I was so scared of playing on the main TV and my parents pulling up and catching me playing video games. So get this, I had my own personal television. I was a lucky kid, yeah. I had my own little tiny black and white television with antennas on it. I think I could get two channels if I was lucky. But the one thing I could do, I could hook my Genesis up at the back to it using the RFs. You know what I did? So this is so funny, I still remember this. I, what I did is I hooked, I, I opened my closet and I put the TV in and my Genesis in and I pulled out this game right here, Thunder Force 2. A great shoot 'em up back then on the Genesis. And it had side view levels and overhead uh, levels as well. Wonderful, wonderful game, great music. I love it to this day. I, I put this in my uh, Genesis. I have a little chair in my closet. I close everything. I have headphones on. Headphones I used to be able to plug in to the Genesis. Do you remember? It actually had a headphone slot in the, in the front. So I'm playing it, great time, on a TV this small in black and white in my closet. <laughs> Instead of being at school. I'm home set, I'm totally safe, right? I'm in a closet. Nobody knows I'm there. Nobody can hear me. Of all the fucking luck in the universe, my sister comes home and she's looking for something. So guess what? She comes into my closet to look for it, opens it up, I'm like, ah! You know, I just like freak out. The sunlight as it hits me, it burns my face. And I'm just like, I couldn't believe that she was there. And, so, and she's as freaked out as me. I'm there like all like gadgeted up with my technology, crazy technology back then, playing this, uh, you know, next generation game. And it was so funny. Uh, I got busted by my sister in the closet, you know? playing a, a, a video game on my black and white television instead of being at school. I always love that story. And you know what? She told on me too. She couldn't keep that one back. She had to tell my parents that night. Thank you, my beautiful sister. Now, it's funny skipping school. I would do it and I'd be terrified. <laughs> I'd be terrified of getting busted. I mean, really so much so. But there's this one time I, I got Fantasy Star 2 here. Wonderful, wonderful RPG on the Genesis. I was looking forward to it for months for months and I never I never got a copy myself. I had to borrow my friend Andrew, the guy down the street who had everything. I borrowed his sloppy seconds uh, copy after he was finished. 
And I, I, I couldn't wait. I had to go home and I'm, you know, I'm playing at home. I skipped my last two classes of the day. And at this point, I'd actually skipped a lot of school. I really had. And uh, it's so funny. I'll never forget. I'm sitting in the basement and I'm playing Fancy Star 2. And greatest freaking game ever. I mean, I don't regret it at all. I'm having the greatest time of my life playing this next generation RPG in my basement. Perfect. God damn it, my phone is ringing and ringing and ringing and ringing. And you know what's scary, what's weird is I knew it was my two teachers phoning. I knew that, that's what it was. And then, you know, it's funny, I get a call from my principal, leaves a message on my phone. And I'm in the basement. And I mean, how stupid of a kid is I? I, I was terrified. I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna get busted. Ah, ah, but this game's so great. I, you know, I just remember the, the amount of fear I had sitting in my basement playing this game and knowing that all my teachers were phoning, my principal was phoning. And uh, yeah, the, the great wonderful thing was they left messages on my answer, machi answer machine. I just ran upstairs and erased them, you know, type of thing. So it was all good and uh, I became really good at faking notes too for school. And, uh, you know, so if my parents gave me a note, I'd extend the dates on it for like another week or something. It was so bad. I was so bad. I was so bad, you know? So funny. I did graduate high school. I did really well. But grade 8 and 9 years, not so much. You know what I'm saying? But now this is really exciting. I do a lot of talking about my memories. But I thought I'd take you guys to a place where I had one of my memories. And it was a memory where I skipped school for Dragon Warrior 2. So I know I've mentioned him a lot before, my friend Andrew. Every day I would pick him up from his house and we would walk to high school here, down that pathway I just walked down. One Monday though, something changed. I walked down, it was a really dull uh, day. Uh, it was really, really rainy and kind of like yeah, cloudy out and we got here and I was a smoker at the time. And I got here and I stopped and my friend Andrew stopped as well and he's like, why are we stopping? And I'm like, you know what? And he's like, what? I said, I'm taking two weeks off. And he's like, you can't do that. And I'm like, no, I, I'm, I'm going to take two weeks off. I have Dragon Warrior 2, which as I say, I got the day before. And it's funny, I went, I, I walked right back up, went all the way home. My parents were at work. And uh, every day I skipped school and I played Dragon Warrior 2. And it is 20 years later. What are my thoughts on that looking back now? My thoughts are this, I don't regret it in the least. I remember that more than I remember any of the goddamn social studies, all that crap in high school. I had a great time playing Dragon Warrior 2 and I tell you, so I don't recommend skipping school every single day, not at all, but I had a good time, you know, skipping school sometimes and playing video games. Uh, it's not for everybody. I passed high school. I had no problem with it. It was pretty simple, you know, for, for me to get through, but I was bored a lot at high school. I, I enjoyed going home and playing video games, but I know it's a little excessive, the two-week thing, but... I know, two weeks off school, right, to play Dragon Warrior 2. Kind of crazy, but totally worth it. God, that game was so great. I got some other games here that are kind of funny as well, is that... I just remember, these are ones that I just remember playing with my friend Andrew. I'd skip, you know, we'd skip school, he'd come to my place, I'd go to his place, and, uh, you know, I remember we rented Valus 3 back in the day, and spending all afternoon on a Friday playing this game, and... What wonderful memories I have of me and him sitting in my basement playing these wonderful games, you know? Like, uh, you can't you can't buy memories like that, you know? I certainly wasn't at school, so I was doing something fun, but that was damn cool. I love that. Oh, God, another great, great game we used to play at his place. I love this game. The music is eternally in my mind, and that is of Ghostbusters on the Genesis as well. I... Man, I, we spent hours playing this game at his place. This, when I think of his place back then, I always think of Ghostbusters, like childhood memory, like 1989, 1990, sitting at his place playing that. And another game he had back in the same day was uh, Mystic Defender. What a wonderful first, gen, you know, first Genesis uh, style action platformer game back then. Uh, we would play the ever living crap out of these games and, you know, had a lot of fun memories. And that's what all this was about talking about it's like all the great memories you know playing some of these games obviously you guys know fantasy star I, I love the game to death and here's another memory about fantasy star for me i never owned the game uh off my friend who originally had it and he sold it to a guy who sold it to a guy so it went through three other people and i still never got it 
where finally I went to the third guy who he had sold it to. And I'm like, hey, can I buy it off you? And at this pr point, the price of the game had dropped to $10. You know, you know, pretty much for what I could buy it off my friend for. And I'm like, can I give you 10 bucks for this game? He's like, yeah, you know, he goes, I kind of finished the game, it's awesome, blah, 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 but I'm done with it. He sold it to me. And I, I remember jumping on my skateboard. I was a big skateboarder for years, huge. Skateboarding all the way home. And I skateboarded for like an hour home to play this game in the anticipation to go home and play it. Finally, at home in my own place, uh, not looking at it on other people's couches or whatever. Wow, what a, what a fantastic thing to, to finally do that. And going home for the afternoon playing this. You know, great stuff, you know, type of thing. But man, so funny. It's so bad. I feel, feel so bad, but... You know, I, as I say, I graduated high school, I got good grades, I did okay. But I have some such funny memories of, you know, skipping school and uh, playing some of these video games and such elaborate ones like the Dragon Warrior 2, skipping two weeks of school. That's just, that's just a little, you know, over the top, but I, I really had a good time doing it. And I'll be honest with you, I don't regret it. I, I look back and those eight old days of high school are done. You know, that, that old math class that I took that I skipped one afternoon. It, that doesn't, I don't remember that. I remember some of the memories playing this stuff and that's actually something that's more of a highlight moment to me. But but guys, I'm ending the video and I, I want to hear about some of your memories skipping school and playing video games. I know everybody has them. I know they do. I feel so bad like I'm the first person to really come out and talk about it. Like, you know, and, and, and be really kind of brutally honest about some of my memories doing this kinds of stuff. But I want to hear about your memories. Definitely do a video response to this. Tell me about some of your memories skipping school and playing video games. And obviously for all the younger people out there, don't skip school. Honestly, play your video games on the weekend or on a you know weeknight after you get your homework done. Please do it that way. Don't do it the way I did. I was lucky to get through high school, honestly. But definitely stay in school, do your homework. Become a very educated person. It's very important. Don't play video games during the day. Until next time.